Okay, so I'm going to be going over a quick hand here in Ignition Poker playing Ace Jack in a $2 cash game. Now, as I'm bringing this hand down, definitely recommend checking out Ignition. So I'll have some bonus sign up and resource links in the description. Also, I want your opinion on if you think I played this hand well or not. Now, it is coming up right after this 9 6. I kind of just mucked this hand. I also want to say I've been playing a lot of uh, $200 and $500 cash games lately. I'm trying to get back up to the $1,000 tables, but every time I go to the $1,000 games, I'm just getting crushed. So, you know, two and $500, I consider those mid stakes. And for the most part on Ignition, I feel like they're, you know, still beatable, but the $1,000 games is where it gets a little bit tougher. Now, I do want to say Ace Jack is a pretty tricky hand to play. I'm sure you can agree with me. And it can be even trickier when Ace Jack is suited pre flop because if you get a lot of big pre flop raises in and you have like an Ace Jack suited, it's really hard to fold it. You know what I mean? And you can kind of get yourself in trouble. And it's happened to me in the past. Fortunately, the hand I'm going to show you is going to be an ace-jack offsuit. And honestly, I think I probably played it as good as I could have. I'm not going to say what happened. You're just going to have to wait and find out. Okay, so here we go, guys. Get ready for it. Now, I will say everybody folded around to me. So I ended up raising it six bucks, which I felt like is a pretty standard play, you know, with only two people left to act in a six max cash game. Now, we are going to get re-raised to $20, and honestly, with an ace-jack offsuit, it could be an easy fold, unless you're going with, like, your gut, thinking that maybe the guy's trying to bluff it, you know, or bluffer fish it, whatever you want to call it, but, you know, I think my poker instincts kind of went off a little bit here, and I decided to just make the call on this guy, even though, like I said, I could have just folded this ace-jack easily. All right, so here we go with the $20 pop. So there are a lot of hands that I would be behind, especially against some high pocket pairs, aces, kings, queens, ace, king, ace, queen, tons of stuff, right? Anyways, I wanted action on this hand, so I just made the call. Now we hit top pair. Flush draw possibility out there at the moment, and obviously some straight draws if he's got ace-queen or ace-king. So I would have assumed he would continue betting into this at this point. So he bet pretty small, $12. Clearly an easy call for me with top pair. Turn card was a six. Now this put two different flush draws out there and you know i'm still behind some hands like some high pocket pairs uh ace king or ace queen could still get there on the, you know the river so i'm still playing this hand pretty hesitant honestly but he bet 47 dollars into it which was a pretty scary bet but going with my instincts here i made the call uh you know river card was basically a blank you know the flush did get there but i really wasn't thinking that he was repping, you know, uh, a flush. The only thing that I could figure that I could beat at this point was basically a bluff. Anyways, I made the call. I thought it was a great call and it worked out for us. Um, anyways, I do want to know your thoughts. You guys think I played that the, the right way? Should I have folded that ace jack preflop? Yeah. Okay, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, you know, quick little session. Thanks for watching it and we'll see you in the next poker video.